it's Jessie V. And as you can tell by today's video, I'm going to be talking about some more very creepy toys that were actually sold in stores. These are some true stories of things that have happened to people after they bought them. Not good stuff. Before I get into that though, as you can see, I have my new November backdrop behind me. It's supposed to be like a creepy old picture of a UFO landing on some sort of planet. I don't know what it is, but I love it. I love that it's all blue. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty eerie. But if you guys would like to enter to win this backdrop, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram page. It is Jessie V. Give it a follow. And then send me a DM telling me what your favorite comfort movie is ever. If I have to choose mine, I feel like it's not just one that I can choose. My favorites are the Lord of the Rings movies, the Star Wars movies, and the Matrix movies. Those are my top three. All right, so before we get into this video, I just want to remind you one more time that I do have a Cameo account. I will put it down below in the description. It's basically where I can send you personalized videos, shout outs, answer any of your questions. And with Christmas coming up, maybe that's something you want as a Christmas gift or you have a birthday coming up. So I would be so happy to send you your own video. And there's also a chat function on Cameo. So if you just want to like text back and forth with me, you can do that too. So yeah, link down below. All right, guys. So all the toys I'm going to be talking about today are talking toys. So these are like glitches, creepy malfunctions, inappropriate things that have happened with these toys. The first one is the Hannah Montana singing doll. And I'm sure everyone who is watching knows who Hannah Montana is, but just in case for some odd reason you don't, she is an average teenage girl named Miley Stewart who lives a double life as a famous pop singer named Hannah Montana and constantly tries to conceal her true identity from the public. And her character is obviously played by Miley Cyrus. Well, people went absolutely nuts when this show came out. I mean, my sister and I would never miss an episode. This was a huge part of our childhood. So because of this popularity, right before Christmas of 2009, they came out with the Hannah Montana holiday pop star doll. She's apparently supposed to be singing, rocking around the Christmas tree. But it wasn't until parents bought this doll and watched their kids open it on Christmas morning that they realized that something was not right. Something was not okay. So you know that classic part of the song that goes, later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. Well, I don't know if the song with this doll was like recorded with a glitch, but the doll doesn't actually say pumpkin pie. It says a curse word before the pie, ending with an ing. I'm not allowed to say it on here, nor do I want to. And parents were outraged by this, obviously, and this was all over the news. One lady went on the news and talked about how she walked into her daughter's bedroom one day and heard her singing this song with the curse word instead of pumpkin pie. And when she asked her daughter where she heard that curse word from, she was like, Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana taught me that word. So she took out the doll's battery so her daughter could still play with the doll without hearing the song. Okay, so comment down below if you ever owned this doll and if you did, did you hear her saying this swear word or was it just like a misunderstanding? Because the makers of this doll did come forward and say that, hey, you guys are just hearing it wrong because I feel like they wouldn't actually record the song with a swear word, right? So either there was a glitch in production or people were just simply mishearing it. The next one is Teletubbies Talking Poe. Now, when I saw this on the list of toys gone wrong, I was really freaked out because I owned this exact Talking Poe. They came out with these line of talking Teletubbies in 1998 and I had Talking Poe and my sister had Tinky Winky. But like I said, the Poe one is where things were up. Something was up with it. When adults press the soft tummy of Talking Poe, the red Teletubby, they swore they heard it utter the words fatty fatty and bite my butt, which was obviously extremely weird and parents felt really uncomfortable about this because one, the Teletubby should not be insulting their kid's body type and bite my butt. Do they really want their kids repeating that to random strangers? No. CBC News was on the case and contacted the manufacturer directly, which blamed the mix up on mishearing of Cantonese. So I guess they were speaking in Cantonese and it sounded like weird English phrases. I don't know, I'm really confused about it. And like I said, I did own this toy, but I don't remember it ever 
remember saying like fatty <laughs> or like weird bite my butt words. I never remember that. Comment down below if you owned any of these and if you remember it saying those things. Then we have the talking Freddy Krueger doll. Freddy Krueger is a character created by Wes Craven and is the main antagonist of the slasher film series A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now he has a pretty disturbing backstory as to why he like looks the way that he does. In 1968 he was burned to death by the citizens of Springwood. After his death he began killing the children of the city in their dreams. Now if you've seen these movies you know that they are pretty violent. I mean it's a horror movie right? Lots of crazy deaths. So when they produced a nightmarish talking version of this famous boogeyman in the late 80s, parents were horrified, especially because their advertisements were aimed at really young kids. Now this doll was made by Matchbox Toys, and the American Family Association led a boycott of the company, accusing them of warping young minds with a toy based on a serial killer of teenagers. Parents were saying things like, this doll is a product of a sick mind. The fact that a major toy manufacturer would promote this doll is tragic. So Matchbox ultimately bowed to the pressure and banished Freddy to the graveyard of nightmare inducing toys. I don't know why, but I don't think this toy is that bad. Is that just really weird of me to say? Like parents should know that this comes from a horror movie so they shouldn't be giving it to their kids anyway. Like I think this was more for like older collectors who enjoyed the movie, right? But I don't know, maybe I just love horror movies way too much. And then lastly, we have the Happy Meal Minions. The Minions are small yellow cylindrical creatures who have one or two eyes. They are the signature characters of the Despicable Me series. They speak an incomprehensible language called Minionese, occasionally switching to English. In 2015, McDonald's included a Minion toy in every Happy Meal box as a tie-in with the animated blockbuster featuring the breakout stars of the Despicable Me franchise. Now these Happy Meal toys, just like the movie, they would speak in their own weird gibberish language, except for one particular phrase that was programmed into this toy that didn't sit very well with people. Parents were convinced that this toy was saying WTF, but not the short form, like the actual phrase when their kids pressed this toy. McDonald's responded immediately and insisted that the minions were not cursing. They stated this is a quote from them. The allegation that this toy is saying any offensive phrase is not true and we apologize for any confusion or offense to those who may have interpreted the sounds for anything other than gibberish. Comment down below if you ever had any of these Minion Happy Meal toys. They came out not too long ago. And did you hear it saying a curse word? Anyway, so guys, those are all of the weird things that happen with talking toys. If you want me to continue this series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Don't forget if you would like a video shout out from me, I have put my cameo link down below and don't forget to enter to win the backdrop as well. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!